It's been a tough year. It's been a tough year uh, for law enforcement in this country. Um, and I think from that toughness, we've entered into a, hopefully it's just a recalibration period where we learn to do things better, where we are becoming more mindful of the things that we should do and what the community expects us to do, um, but also a recalibration for what the public needs to do what they and what um, we expect of them to assist us in making communities as safe as they can be. Certainly, police departments can't do it by ourselves. You know, we need the input of our uh, um, involved citizens to partner with us, to be engaged with us, to trust with us, and to help us with the overall safety of our cities. Well, being a chief is tough. Um, meeting uh, such a, a varied spectrum of expectations is tough. You know, you, got, you have to satisfy politicians and your officers internally and the citizens externally and stakeholders externally and the profession. It's been tough, but it, it's manageable. And, you know, I, don't, I think the thing that needs to change is the mentality of police officers um, having a warrior mentality as opposed to a guardian mentality. I think that's what people expect of us. They want us there. They appreciate police officers. And they know they need us in their communities. Um, and we know we need them. So unless we work together, it's never going to work. Um, fortunately, in Cincinnati, we do work together well. And I know we've had some sympathetic reflex lately to what's going on around the country. But, you know, by and large, uh, we, we are doing things well here in Cincinnati. We have developed very robust relationships with people, very authentic relationships, and I think those um, relationships are what's carrying us through this tough period. Well, you know, Kareem, I've said this to you before, and I've said it a lot, that what affects us anywhere affects us everywhere. And so certainly, the, and I think assassination is a good word, um, the cowardly assassination of, of the two New York City police officers uh, was tragic, and and it's it, it has affected all the police all the police work in this nation, uh, if not around the world. It makes it tough because now cops are hyper vigilant, um, less inclined to uh, talk to people, more at uh, you know um, watching watching every environment, watching every movement of people. Um, and at a state of high alert, um, certainly we are, and we have to be right now. 